our heroes had last um, decided unanimously and with complete and total uh, determination that the forest sucks. The forest sucks a lot, and they don't want to ever go to it again or look at it or have anything to do with it for that matter. Because it turns out that being a big game hunter on this planet is equivalent to being a red shirt, maybe? Or perhaps being that one guy who doesn't realize big scary monsters that can take a thousand last bolts to the face is literal? And standard fare. Yes, uh, when I had said part death world, part hive city, I was not kidding. <laughs> Then, since you've all decided that big game hunting is not the best way to become profitable and important and whatever else your goals may or may not be, you have left the forest, made your way back to the primary city, and then hauled your asses as fast as possible to your ship to mostly be as far away from the wild hide in space. Because at this point, space seems safer. Until we run into a warp storm. Yeah, but that's unlikely to happen right next to a planet. It might, but, you know. It, it could happen. That's all that matters. Might. It could happen. Let us set course for the planet of the Nymphomaniacs. That'd be a Seldash planet. You'd all be dead within the week. But it'd be a fun dead. Mm, fair enough. Death by Snoo Snoo. More or less. And or drug overdose, depends. Yeah, pick your poison. Hey, I've been playing... I have been playing... Literally. I've been playing a sci-fi RPG... RPG for like for a while now and haven't had sex with any green alien ladies. I'm upset. Ha. 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 Uh oh, I sense a green alien lady in her group. Are you sure you are my people are all this, this particular shade of blue. You are aboard the newest. It has been, I believe you decided to take two days of rest, or, well, for now, you just got here, and you can rest wherever you lot want. Because some of you are hurting. And are mostly insane. My face hurts. My face got hurt pretty bad. It should hurt, yeah. I'm with your torso. My teeth itch. I don't know whether or not that's in character. That's the point. Sig is going kind of crazy. Yeah, he's getting there. He may actually die of the crazies before, way before he dies of the actual deathness. So, so I think, what would everyone like to do aboard their ship? Well, I think the first thing to do is to make sure none of us are dead anymore. Or dying. Well, none of you are dead or dying. But dying. I believe you dying things. means dead. You might as well, if, you, if you're dying, you might as well assume you're dead until someone saves you. We well, all that's a have negative wounds. outlook. <laughs> we all have wounds what need tending to, and we need to make sure that none of them are uh, uh, preparing themselves to fester. Yeah, fate saved me. For some reason, I just stopped bleeding out. I can explain that as you now have a very wonderful, like, fungusy mold thing that got jammed in there and was eating your blood for you, so you didn't bleed out too bad. Lovely. You probably don't want to peel that out, though, now. Well, I am not a doctor, so that's not for me to do. Fair enough. Uh, your ship now has medical supplies. I believe you bought them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do what you will on that. I don't control that stuff. Well, uh... We also don't have a verbose understanding of how it mechanically operates. Uh, you didn't write it down on your uh, ship? I wrote down what the actual like, equipment we got was, but we haven't ever used it before. 
Oh, you, uh, what's its name and page down below in a book? Then that's sort of the thing you should be yes, writing down. Yes, um, it's it's in here. I'm getting to it. There are a lot of books, and I'm letting you use them, but you have to be able to tell me. <laughs> oh yeah, I actually put it items to the ship, but whatever, it's still in there. Okay, so I know we bought a whole bunch of shipboard emergency kits. Mm -hmm. That's not the one we want. We want the uh, advanced medic of something we got. Where is it? Yeah, advanced med kit. Take your time. Your friends are only just bleeding out. Har har. They're not as we've friends. Been, we've been stable enough to get to the ship. I'm sure we can stand another half hour of reading the instruction manual. Yeah. Uh, I already spent fate. I'm going to survive it. I already burned fate. I'm going to survive anyway. Take your time. Well, let's see. I'm, I'm the best option here because I've got the Medica Mechadendrite mm -hmm. combined with that advanced Medikit and the Diagnostor, which is in my servo skull. I need to get the stats for that, too. You might want to have this stuff written down beforehand because you're going to be the I do. guy. I do, but we, again, we haven't never done this before. Well, fair enough. From what I remember, all this ability, all it really truly allows you to do is attempt to watch someone and give them a lot more HP than normal for the week. Okay. Right, okay. So Diagnostic provides a plus 20 to Medica or Perception test to determine an ailment, and any success indicates the proper medical countermeasures. Okay, so that's mainly for determining what you need to do to stop someone from dying. Not and actually. I would give you, I would point out that that would eliminate the I don't know what's wrong with you bonus, or sorry, uh, yeah, it would be a bonus, wouldn't it, to the difficulty of a task to heal someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just need to you know, go look at the actual skill for Medica. Mm. Okay. Uh Okay, it's successful Medica first aid test removes damage equal to the explorer's intelligence bonus on lightly damaged characters or one damage point from heavily or critically damaged characters. So how damaged is everyone at this point? My damage is equal to my wounds. So I'll assume that's either heavily or critically damaged. Uh... I have 15 current wounds. My total is 11. Oh, Jesus. And uh, Desdemona? She always counts as lightly wounded. Do you know how many wounds you have? Yeah, she's at 10 of 11, but she always counts because of uh, talent. Thing is, I don't know how many wounds I have. You should write that down. I wasn't here when he got wounded. Never Actually, did you should have really get down. wounded? Yeah, you, 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 just, you just folded due to the mental attack of, of the Biakes, and yeah, you, I don't think you okay, ever got so... touched. Desdemona basically stepped in front of you the entire time. Okay, so no wounds, alright. Well, let's do first aid on Desdemona, because uh, I can basically fix her up. How many wounds do you have right now? Ten. Right, and I've got... Um, where is it? The Cortex Implant, which doubles my uh, intelligence bonus. Which means if I succeed, you'll heal for 14 wounds. Okay, so I get a plus 50 of my Medica. Right, and lets me use it uh, untrained because I have the advanced med kit. Okay, which puts me at an 86. Maybe you should be carrying one of these around. Yeah. <laughs> so I've got a, I need to get under an 86. So first aid on Desdemona first. 87? No. Nope. There you go. You heal 14 wounds. 
I guess so, I'll go down to zero. So congratulations, you're fine. I mean, you have a servo skull putting stitches into you. I'm always fine. The Emperor protects. Mm. <laughs> On the other two... Yeah, um, my critically is more than twice my toughness bonus, regardless of what my wounds are, right? Uh, I think. Asking the, uh, the, the expert here. Chris. He's sleeping. He figured we'd be working this out for a bit, so we went to make a sandwich. Probably. As near as I can tell from the reading of this, critically damaged is more than twice your toughness mod. Yeah, okay, I believe so you're that's both, correct. So you're both critically damaged, alright. Yes. Yeah, I have four critical wounds. Ow. Okay, so we're going to be on the ship for like a week. Hey, yep. um, does that mean you roll on the critical damage table if you're at twice your toughness, or what? If you ever uh... go past your wounds, you get critical damage whenever you get hit. Yeah, oh, I get it now. Okay, so when you have over twice your toughness in damage, you're heavily you're... wounded, and you don't have to roll on, you don't have to take the, the roll on the critical damage table. It's when you right. get below your wounds that you roll on the critical damage yeah, table. Yeah, when you exceed okay. your wound yes. threshold. Okay, so right. you're heavily damaged, and he's critical because he's below his wounds. Okay, got it. Yeah. Same roll either way, but... Uh... Yeah, it's just that's important for my sake. Okay, so I have to use extended care on these two, which means, uh... Yeah, wow, chicka, wow, wow. I test once at the end of each week, so we're going to be spending a week on the ship. You can treat a number of patients equal to your int bonus. I can treat is... 14 patients. <laughs> int bonus? Uh -huh. Success allows the patient I would like to, to point something out that's very important to two you. Two points of damage. You have 140 int, do you? I have uh, 73 int, and then I have my cortex implant, which doubles my int bonus. Ah, uh, okay. I have a important bit of info. Go for it. Sigismund. Yeah? You got any forbidden lore Tau on you? <laughs> no? Well, I really hope you... I really hope Tau are biologically extremely similar to humans. <laughs> oh, he's fine. Oh, he's fine, he says, as he connects his heart to his lower intestine. Yeah, that's oh. where it goes on Tau. Open your mouth and say, ah. Uh, no, not that mouth. I was going to say, you can attempt it, but you're taking one hell of a penalty. Uh, yeah. Um, you don't know jack shit about, you know, Tau uh, biology, and he doesn't know jack shit about Tau biology, so... <laughs> well, it's better than what's going to happen if you do nothing. Yeah, there's nobody else who could really fix it besides maybe Doc back on the planet. The, do you want to go see Doc? Doc could. The good news is that at least some of that penalty might be negated from your... Uh, uh, your auspex implant that will let you actually true. see the structure of things before you start digging in with a scalpel. You're, you're, you're not starting in the help. dark ages. <laughs> I mean, that but... helps you pre-surgery to know maybe, oh, that's his heart, I probably shouldn't stab that, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know. See where everything this, is. this is not advanced I'll stab what I care. Want. I'll stab what I want. Don't you try to pigeonhole me. <laughs> let me double check if I have anything else that might help. You have a book on Tau biology? That's the only thing. No. Of course I don't. Do, do those even exist? Technically, in the deepest annals of the Order Hereticus, yes, they have that for the sake of knowing where to shoot them most efficiently and or torture them. Mm -hmm. It's the mild brain. heresy to have it, but it's uh, more useful than not, so it's past. I mean, I could do something risky. That's always fun. I've got some attention spanner drug. That's fun. Yeah. Get high before you do surgery. Well, if I pass a difficult willpower test, I get all my int rolls at a plus 30 for 3d10 rounds. Yeah. No, yeah. it wouldn't work anyway, sorry. Mm -hmm. Because, um... What's it called? Where is it? Yeah, because the extended care is an extended test. Yes. It's done throughout a week. You had to be yes. high for a whole week. That'd be that, awesome. That doesn't work, since the attention spanner only lasts for 3d10 rounds. 
Yeah. Um, you'd have to have this massive tank of attention spanner just pouring directly into you. At that point, and, you're like the highest of Slaneshi warlords. <laughs> uh, if you can pull that off, I'll, I'll promote you to a goddamn demon prince of Slaneshi. <laughs> let's see how much. Let's see how much of the stuff we can get. I have a bunch. I have like as much as I could ever want, but. The problem but wiring is I... himself into that would kill him 99,000 times out of 10. Like I said, if he somehow survived that, I would on the spot make him a Chaos uh, Prince of Slanesh. Demon Prince of Slanesh. But, but like on the, the spot. The point <laughs> is, all it would take is one failed roll and suddenly I've got a massive penalty to in, which makes it not going to work. Also, when he fails the roll, depending on how long he's been high, I might just fucking kill him. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, if that's out, that just means uh, extended care like normal, then, for a week. Well, actually, uh, I should probably be diagnosing them first. That would be smart. Right, yes, diagnose. Who would you like okay. to diagnose first? Uh, I'll, I'll hideous go Zeno, for, or? I'll go for Carnamon first. All right, the Hideous Mutant. Hmm. Carnamon, hey, sorry. I'm not hideous. <laughs> you have a third eye. It's only hideous when it's open. Don't open it. <laughs> Uh-oh, my eye rolled up, my eye opened up while you're trying to do surgery on me. Ah! On the plus side, I could do this with perception. Mm. Like, straight perception. question is, mm -hmm. which is better? Uh, they're roughly equal, it looks like, actually. Whichever you mm. prefer. I will point out that using Medicare versus perception gives you a bit better idea of how to treat them than pure perception would. Yeah, Pure perception actually, taking the obvious things, like, oh, his leg is broken, but Medicare goes into detail. Well, the benefit is, uh, it turns out half my int is still higher than my perception. Or I use perception, and my auspects let me re-roll it if I have to. Yeah. You're the one you. making the decision here. <laughs> While he's uh, while he's making his uh, I'm his, too unconscious to give me a feedback. His life saving decisions, um, Chris, that brings up uh, that that brings to mind something here. Yeah. So if I take Forbidden Lore Xenos as my has a normal rank two skill ad Seneschal advance, mm -hmm. are the Xenos in questions humans and like is it all non Tau? Or is it all non-human? Um, in your case, it would include humans and not Tau, yes. Because for you, it's a very different thing. For you, it would be you would get common lore Tau instead of forbidden lore Tau. So in your case, if you took forbidden lore Xenos, it would include humans, not Tau. And if you took common lore Imperium, it wouldn't be Imperium, it would be common lore Tau Empire. See what I'm going with? Yes. I do have common lore Tau, however. Cool. You know the basics of Tau hierarchy and some of the biology, not much. You know that you have a head. I also have scholastic lore Tau. Okay, that, that definitely gives you more biology and some of their physiology and a fair amount of things, actually. Well, like, uh, short of a like doctor, I'll... you're going to know about as much about Tau biology and physiology as you could. Mm -hmm. So, if you're willing to roll on that, I will... Basically, you're going to roll on it at a penalty because you're trying to guide a random fucking human through your own goddamn biology and hope it works. But we'll get to that. Okay. So well, how would you like first. to fix Carnivore? Well, yeah, carry okay, on. Let's, let's roll a diagnosing. Uh... I'll go for Medica, fuck it. Which puts me at a plus 30, which means a 66. Yay! Yep, uh, you have diagnosed that it was probably the massive gashes to his torso, not his face, even though his face probably hurts more, that caused him to start bleeding out. And uh, yeah, he's pretty low on blood. He could use a lot more blood. Yeah, that's what crew Also, that for. chest one might get infected because anyway, he's floating in like the fucking merc for a good minute. Yeah, minute or so. That was pretty nasty. 
Well, someone grab uh, the most useless crew member you can find and hook him up with a blood bag. Leave me alone. <laughs> you know, we're going to go Mad Max on this thing. That's fine. Uh, I'm not saying you can't. That's probably exactly what you're supposed to do. So, yeah, that happens. Okay, let's try and diagnose the Tau now. Does the Tau pipe up saying, hey? <laughs> um. 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 Yeah, let, let, um, 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 let's make sure that the, uh, that, that, that the medical theater is a bit cleared of any unnecessary onlookers. Well, yes. It's just you guys in the medic bay at this point. What you would call a medic bay, you don't actually have one. It's a room you decided, this is the medic bay now. Went over it, it with a flamer, and now it's clean. I, I know where it would be. It's in my laboratorium. Ah, oh, cool, it smells of oil everywhere. Nice. Hey, we keep it clean. It's sacred. I'm not saying you don't. <laughs> it just stinks of oil. What's going on? Uh. Um, in that case, I can try and give you a um a a, a dime tour of, of 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 the of of my wounds. Crash course in Tau physiology one on one. Hmm. I hope you pass. <laughs> Yeah, well, my int is not quite as uh, splendorous as his. Well, don't worry. No matter how you say it, you'll make it sound good with your silver tongue. Hmm. All right. So that there is the frobnitz. That there is the fleen. That's and, a good roll. Um, what was your... it? Was my scholastic lore tau empire is sixty. That is a incredible success, and it does inform... I have good news and bad news. It will more or less get rid of the entirety of the penalty to uh, his attempt at fixing you. The issue is, he has to take notes. No, I don't. That means he's going to know about your biology. That means he's going to have, like, a little handbook, or whatever you want to call it, of your biology and so on, somewhere on the ship or on his person, if he expects to be able to treat you in the future. No, I'm not. I have memories You can take his information once, have it on your person for the surgery, then burn it after the surgery is done? I have a remembrance implant. He has an eidetic memory. Oh. I remember Mm -hmm. everything. Cool, you'll just know it, so when they torture you, they know you know it. Or anything. Well, it's very helpful for a situation like this. Either way. But well, they know he knows they know. Uh It's very helpful for a situation like this, because there's no chance of forgetting something that might be useful in the the medical part. Fair enough. Uh, You might want to put a note then somewhere in your character sheet. For future, um, unless it's a great deal of uh, identity memory, don't you? You never need to ask Sketh about Tau biology to fix Sketh and Sketh. Now, other Tau, it won't work on, but it'll work on Sketh. So for future, you don't have to roll... um, you don't have to diagnose him, but you don't but have to worry about way. the penalty for him being a Tau, is my point. Yeah, and it doesn't worry about being good at medicine. Basically, yes. And okay, Sketh, so... Sketh thanks the, uh, thanks, the, uh, thanks the ever-present Ethereals for making sure to give him that one-week crash course in basic, uh, in, 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 in basic first aid and uh, medical terminology. All right, well, let's try against the 66 again. Nope. That was my arm. <laughs> Where I'm are just you di- going with my arm? <laughs> I'm just diagnosing right now. <laughs> I said left arm. What kind of navigation officer can't tell left from right? So it seems like diagnosing doesn't actually do that much. Like, it's mostly for disease, it looks like. Because when someone's clawed up, you just look for where the blood is. Hmm, I'd better diagnose you. I'd better diagnose you. Yes, the problem seems to be that giant steel bar coming through your chest. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah, seems kind of odd. So maybe I'm not supposed to actually be using that. I'm not sure whether I should clean this wound or wash it. 
I I get that. In the case of Carnivore, though, I needed it because he might have been you know, like diseased by the, all the goop in his wounds. This is true. Yes. In this case, I was having you diagnose him because it's a Tau, and you're not really used to what you're doing here. Hmm. Now you will obviously fix his obvious wounds, but any kind of internal wound jabs might be a bit beyond your skill. Yep. All right. Well, uh, I guess we're gonna spend a week on the ship now. Okay, we no, crashes. I, I, the only thing I that didn't. seems to happen is your uh, crew is dirty. Er. I didn't think that was possible. They've been watching a lot of Christina Aguilera videos. Well, um, let me double check them. Is a way to feel unclean. Ah, okay, this would count as a complication then. Um, you're running low on water, like the ship is. Not okay. for fuel or like cooling, but for like the human element. When does this happen? Uh, it looks like four days into it. And uh, when you say low on water... Well, they've, they've gotten dirtier for a reason. They've stopped having to clean themselves, basically. Okay, Water sure, is now we... being rationed purely for drinking. Do we have enough to survive three days and then go get more water? Yeah, certainly. Okay, then that's what we're I doing. Mean, the lower elements might have to start eating each other, but that happens every other Tuesday, yeah, so whatever. Yeah, they, they do that anyway. Let's just, let's just pull a dune and start turning people into water. Okay, so now I get to use everything I've got to improve this Medica test. Who would you like to do it on first? It does it on both. Oh, okay, so it's two for one. Right? Everyone okay. under his care. I, I just take a minus ten per extra patient, so I'm taking one minus ten for doing two people at the same time. That's fine. Okay, so that cancels out the bonus from the Medica Mechadendrite. Then I get the bonus from the Diagnost Store, and there's one other thing to give me a bonus. Where is it? So which one of them gets the, the cold on feeling arm to treat them, while the other one gets your cold on feeling palms? Probably alternating, actually. All right. Okay, so yeah, I get a total bonus of... Hmm. Did I screw that up before? No, I did that right. Okay. So yeah, I got a total bonus of plus 40. Which means uh, 76. I am very prepared to spend a fate, the one fate point I have to reroll this if it goes badly. Yeah. 76. Yep, rerolling. Okay. I had a feeling that would happen. <laughs> um, Please be better. Uh, um, just what? one moment. Did I, each additional patient. Beyond your intelligence bonus imposes a cumulative oh. minus 10. Okay, so 86. So that's technically a success, but I don't think I want to go with an 84 out of 86. It's up to you. There may be penalties involved, there may not be. You don't know. There you go. That's what I'm going with. 30 versus 86. <laughs> Most success. Congratulations, you built the store will believe one extra point of HP. Sorry, what? Now they get one for the week and one for your help, right? That's not really how that works. Uh, uh, they remove twice the normal amount of damage, plus one point for each degree of success. Uh -huh. So, two points, plus one for each degree of success. Okay, one second. Four degrees of success. So six wounds removed from both of them. Mm -hmm. Where does that put you both on being injured? I am now lightly damaged. Okay. Carnivore? Uh, that cured my critical wounds, and I'm at nine out of eleven. What's your toughness bonus? Uh, my toughness bonus is two. Okay, so you're still heavily damaged. It's going to be a while for him. Yeah, but I can fix Sketh right now, because you're lightly, right? I now have only four, and double-checking. You, you can only do one medic thing per set of wounds. Oh, can you? Eh, okay. Well, then that's what you two get. <laughs> yes, but I can walk around now, so... <laughs> yes, you can walk <laughs> around, just don't get punched in the face until, I guess, the can time pass so that I do it again? It seems to be, um, I suppose, yes, but it has to be enough time to where he might just be fixed on his own. 
Right. Okay, uh, let's go get the ship some water. That's a thought. Which well, uh, how would you like to get the, to the ship city? water? We'll uh, land the ship in the ocean. Going that to the port. Right, sure. Or well, but not the way you want it to. If we land the ship in the ocean, we're going to have the engines filled with sea monsters. Yeah, He's not hull. wrong. That would be awesome. I want a, I want a sea monster powered engine. Alright, looking at the star map here. Looks like the only sources of water that are not going to be jealously guarded are going to be either the small oceans of Quasimodo or is hybrid a, uh, a, a, a terraformed or otherwise habitable planet? It's a moon of admixture. Thanks to the fact you guys got some information a while back, you know that hybrid is made of 90% glass. Okay. It's a blue marble for a very different reason. Let's go blow it up. Sure, if you want. I have to get to that chewy center. Well, it's a ninety percent glass planet. We have to blow it up. Well, I don't want to find out what the other ten percent is. It's a glass shards out in the rest of the galaxy. You guys are fucked up. The only sources of water you'd have to guess in this world, or system, sorry, would definitely be Quasimodo. Maybe Fume, if only because you don't know anything about Fume, and if you do, and maybe Admixture, if. You know, you got really lucky. It's one of those fucking gas planets. We're probably be better off gas, just which trying to buy gas. water from someone. Quasimodo would definitely get you water. Yeah. Well, we are still a ship. They should theoretically still be happy to deal with us. And we'll, let's just spend a goddamn profit factor to cut out this, the bullshit so we can get moving. You can always spend a profit factor to cut out the bullshit. Like, Skeff well, just needs to contact someone, say, we've got an ass ton of money, please give us water. Yeah, that, that would <laughs> solve the problem. <laughs> There's an ass ton of money, give us your water. Here is enough money to build a castle, please give us water now. <laughs> More or less, yes. If that's what you like to do, all you need to do is contact people. Castles. No. Don't want a castle on top of my castle. Anyway, you just need to contact someone. That's, if that's, that's what you want to do, all you have to do is contact someone. So at least one person has to go down to the planet side. Which means we're all going down to planet side with the possible exception of Carnivore because he's dropped to all hell. If he likes to stay back on the ship, that's up to him. I see no reason to put myself in further danger. Okay, so your crew will just be piloting the thing to try and land it, instead of you. Oh, I'm not sending on my ship. Like, but he can stay on the ship. Ah, you're going to stay on the personal vessel, but you're going to... Okay. No, no, the, I don't need to send down Raleigh Astra. The Nilist has its own shuttles. This is true. True. Sure. All right, they'll take a hobo shuttle. Who wants to drive it? Or do you want to have some schlub drive it? Um. My ship only goes down when I go down. Uh, which one is the, that skill? Is that pilot? That's going to be pilot. And unless this is a very large jump pack, I can't pilot it. So that'd be a skill group that I don't have. That, yes. yes, that would be a, that would be an advanced skill group. You have a pilot. He's currently been stabbed to shit. Schlub can always do it. Yeah, I don't feel like going back to Crap Hole Planet right now. I do like yes. how this giant uh, ship has only one pilot. No, you have yes, loads of pilots. You have one good pilot. Yes. Well, well, hold on. How does how does Carnivore's a uh, uh, gang of a uh, gang of merry men uh, crew? Uh, how do they compare to the nihilists' crew? Considerably better at what they do. Is their like <laughs> their whole job is to do this? If you were to get some random guy, it'd be someone who does this job, but has, like, two other jobs. So, like, for And example, one that they crash two-thirds of the time. Can we yes, borrow his slubs? You, you want to borrow his slubs? Uh-huh. It's up to him. I'm not losing my crew. There we you don't go. plan on losing them. We just... Look, if we lose them, that means you've lost us, and then you have bigger problems. Not really. Since you're God, I'm the highest-ranked person on the ship now. Is that wrong? 
So that basically, implies... we'll take him at gunpoint and put him on the shuttle and bring him with us. <laughs> well, I can't Wheel argue this... with that. Yeah. <laughs> Wheel your medical gurney aboard your shuttle. Yeah, being wheeled aboard the shuttle at gunpoint with my freaking colostomy also... bag following. We could also take you over to that, uh, that what's it's called? The Space mm-hmm. Marine. Space Marine might be willing to treat a mutant, maybe. Well, he's a sanctioned mutant. He's an important mutant. True. Doesn't mean he's not a mutant. Sure, but this one's already shown himself to be possibly sympathetic to fucking Xenos, of all things. You that could be that. the impression, yes. I don't Which know Which would be that, heresy no. on I'm the just, highest I'm, I'm saying it, not a character. I know, I'm just... Say, say what you do is what you do. Sort. But that is an option. What is the word I'm forgetting that the Space Marine is? Fine, I will pilot my shuttle oh, there, but I'm not leaving yeah, the shuttle. Apothecary, yes. Yes, thank you. Specifically, he's a sanguinary priest. Yep. Apothecary is a more general term for any yes. Space Marine healer guy, yep. but in his particular area. That being okay. said, we also already used his medic test that he can get for his wounds. Sorry? What? You is it that you get one treatment. medic test from one person? Yeah, so you can get it from another person. I didn't read it that way. I would say logically two people could try. Like different experience. Yeah, different, different, different experience, different like way of treating things. Better equipment in one hand, worse equipment in the other. Where are you even reading that? Uh, that's when I was going through it a while ago. Because I don't see it on the Medica skill. Uh, hardly anything is on the Medica skill. Yeah, it's in the uh, wounds once. section. Uh, and the healing section. Looking for a page number. I have now gotten to healing. Uh... Welp, regardless, you guys are going planet side, everyone. One of you at gunpoint. Yeah, not at gunpoint, we just... We, well, we, if that's what it takes to get him to lend us the only competent pilots we have, then yes, I'm gonna put him at gunpoint. Captain, I never realized that your navigator, whose name was Starscream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not seeing any... Once you're any... dead, I will be the captain! Ah! I'm not seeing anything about not being able to take medical attention more than once from the same guy. From different sources. I'm not no, I'm not seeing anything that says I can't just do it again. Oh, yeah, it, well, I mm. think he's asking you to cite that one because Well, I gotta find it now and Because now I'm looking at the healing section and there's nothing there that says it. Try wounds. While well, that's happening, you guys are going to have to go. So you're borrowing his crew, not Colonel Horn himself. Yeah, he doesn't have to come as long as he lends the freaking crew. If... No, I'll, I'll fly it down because I don't want it to get crashed. And I know my crew is like, they're worse than me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you get Colonel Horn himself Shanghai into the business. Uh, um, Colonel Moore, please make you me a pathetically easy least? pilot check. Sorry, people are yes, talking over each other. Just making sure he's recovered his fatigue by now, otherwise his piloting skill isn't going to be great. Uh, after a it, week, yeah. It's been a week. Ah, it's been yeah, a week. Good. He's good. All right, Cardinal Ward, I need you to make a pilot check that is painfully stupid easily, but you can always roll 100, so you know. Yeah. My basic piloting is... Uh, my pilot spacecraft I'm... is... Is it 42? It should be 46, shouldn't it? Just a sec. No, it's 42. I'm, okay. I'm still not seeing I'm this. looking. Yeah, we're looking. The manual is really poorly designed, so finding it is very difficult. Where else would it be, if not for uh, healing, wounds, and the Medicus skill? Skill descriptions. That's what I'm talking about with the Medicus well, skill. Overall, yeah. not the specific. That is the... Sp- that he is talking about on the table and in the uh, in the descriptions for the oh. healing for the medica skill. All right, Colonel Moore, do you bring them in? Where would you like to land specifically? Well, I think we still have that docking bay. So. You want to use the uh, illegal uh, mid-level docking bay? 
That would be the one. All right, yep. go ahead. Roll We're bringing a Xeno. We don't really have a choice. This is true. All right, you make it. Yeah, even with, uh, like I said, you get, uh, it's not very hard to do. <laughs> okay, good. Because I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, it's a little rough, but, like, you've done this once before, so you know where you're going, and it's very easy to land this thing. Taking off and, like, escaping the atmosphere is a little tougher, but just getting on the floor, not so much. No, I'm going to take a nap and have my crew buff that out. Yeah, they're getting used to that job. Right, Uh, sweet. I'll uh, I'll stay with the shuttle and guard guard it and him. We did healing wrong. What's up? Okay, so normally... The the um the extended care for Medica is uh you know you're giving them medical care over a week while they're basically bedridden. Yeah. When you're heavily damaged, uh, you heal. You remove a number. Of, okay, if you devote an entire week to complete rest, which is what happens while you're being cared for, you remove an amount of damage equal to your toughness bonus. Per week. For that week. Okay. Yeah, and then your thing doubles it and plus one per degree of success. Okay, so... That doesn't right, change but... my numbers at all. Does it not? I no, have you... bonuses too. Them devoting the entire week is just their toughness bonus. You adding yourself to the mix doubles that and adds one per degree of success, which is what we did. So Okay, uh, but actually, no, that means that I should have more damage healed because I thought the normal amount was that one damage point from heavily or critically damaged characters mentioned in first aid. So no. my toughness bonus is three, I should have doubled that, and then add four degrees of success. So, so I'm at zero time. wounds. Nice. You're good. You have two oh, wait, toughness, so Cardamort? Yeah, yeah, yeah because so... you, should, you should heal eight from what you are at before. Yeah, and I healed six, so I'm at seven now. What a... good, good. You're still heavily damaged though, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Yep. yep. I, I was pretty yeah. badly beaten. Well, you also have a toughness bonus of two. Yep. You're made of glass and print sticks. Yeah, you really yes. need to fix that at some point. <laughs> FYI. My character's eight... based around running away. Yeah. Eight hours of uh, of rest or each hour of um uh, each hour of non intensive work removes a level of fatigue, so he probably would have been fine by the time we got him back to the ship as on fatigue front. Okay. Well, I'm still not seeing anything about... Yeah, I am, I am also not finding it. Yeah, I I'm not finding it anymore. Healing. I don't I know where I'm thinking of this from. Then there's no I... reason he can't treat you again in the coming week, but we can get to that when you handle the water yeah. problem. Water is the issue. Yep. So, uh, who wants to go and negotiate? Well, you're going to just pay them, I'm presuming, so you're just going to find the first person you see to, to, to a water merchant and just pay the fucker? Well, we uh, need someone who can transship water up to the ship. True. So, so you do, there's we a little bit of negotiation sh- here. Is my point. Okay. Like, so we should price-wise. probably we should probably head up to the highest level that still has merchants on it. That, that would be the highest, though. The second suppose. highest level. Technically speaking, the highest level is for the fucking governor and no one else. So second highest level. Let's go to the third highest. Fair enough. The lesser because, nobles. Because Tau. Is Skith coming along? Um. There will be some minor Card- negotiations for price, so... Yes. Uh, Cardmore, do you um, do you and your crew need any help guarding the ship? Um, we shouldn't, since I have all these missile launchers with the xenofilament ammo in them. Point. Okay. In my, uh, uh, in- <laughs> somebody comes after me, I'll destroy that bit and this whole room. Uh. Oh, hanger, yeah. All right, in my uh, in my nice uh, full kit armor, which hopefully I've had time to close some of the claw wo- claw holes in it. You've had time, considering he I, fully healed you. I can fucking do that. <laughs> yep. I shall come along. Like that. That is an hour's work for me to fix that. <laughs> yep. And I am yep. taking a nap. Nap acquired. And Desdemona is naturally coming with everyone. You have acquired sleepy time. All right, so you make your way to the third lowest level without, sorry, third highest, without really any trouble. You're not stopped at any point. All right, we need to find someone who, uh, I think we've already been in, uh, 
in some participation with merchants who would uh, who would be able to uh, make available supplies for passing merchant vessels. So uh, we we just need to consult them again because apparently we've had some sort of water leak or the crew was overusing it or something. So. Captain, do you remember where we found such a person? Was I there when we did that? Yes. The captain then, asks in character. The har har. <laughs> then, uh, <laughs> theoretically, Sig remembers exactly where it is. Fair theoretically, enough. you may have, you may have been high as balls at the time because uh, that that was the same day you uh, were up in the high districts. Okay, sure, but the implant can't get high. I, I hope so. Yeah, but it remembers things from your perspective is the problem. Yeah, well, I, I was still... I was looking at the... So floor we don't want to see sh- a drug trip. It, like, reality. There you go. <laughs> so, I, I mean, I was looking at the floor to make sure my feet didn't sink into it, so I knew, saw where we were going. Mm-hmm. And how many times have I to say we're never talking about the pudding incident again? I have mentioned no such desserts. All right, so you're making your way to the nobles that will hopefully help you with the situation. However, as you lot are discussing and starting to walk your way there, you are politely cut off. I mean, as polite as these things can be. Um, Essentially, you're just walking and ignoring the pomp and glamour when one of the pomp and glamours just kind of stands in front of you. Normally, you wouldn't care. You just go around. thing is, this particular uh, example of pomp and glamour is flanked by servitors. Like, you're pretty sure they're Ogron at some point servitors. They're really big, and I'm pretty sure their arms are cannons. Laz cannons, but cannons. Sig is just going to look at him. Not even say anything, just look at him. Oh, it's no male. It's a woman. Okay, then he's going to look at her. And continue to not say anything. Well, that has ship's captain written all over it. Uh, where was I? Ah. Oh, her, yes. Uh, she smiles grandly and with much enthusiasm. Ah, I have been waiting so long to meet you all. I am Lady Juvelia Novella of the House Baraki. I have been looking so forward to meeting you. It is an absolute pleasure. And she just starts fucking droning, all right? There's no other word. For it. It's just this. It's like noble babble to the highest degree directed at you. I'm going to need this, well, how would you like to deal with this? There's a couple ways. There, you can always try and use skills, or you can try and just ignore her and push past. Hmm. I will wait to see what my captain does, or if he needs me to cut in on a diplomatic front. Uh, yeah, Sig's gonna look at Sketh. Since Sketh is unrecognizable through the armor, he's still the best talker we have, and noble nonsense is not Sig's forte. I should use my quick draw talent here, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted again. All right, so yep. she's drawing at you. For the sake of understanding what's going on, she's using the blather skill at her at you. Blather, you say. Blather. Blather. Can I? It's an actual skill. Do I? Do I have to defend with blather, or can I defend with with charm? You can defend with just about anything, depending on how you want to react to being blathered at. I'm sorry, good madam. I do not believe we have had the pleasure. What, uh, what, what, what can we do for you? And uh, what, what, what do you have? What would you have with us? My charm is eighty. Okay. Sorry, I'm just doing private rolls. Yes, I, I imagine you're rolling willpower and scrutiny and stuff. Yes. Oh, I know you haven't met me, but I've seen you. I mean, how else could one forget such a noble voice as yours? I haven't been able to just sweep in and. This massive amount of funds. I mean, we get travelers so rarely, and 
it kind of is still droning, but there seems to be a point to it, because she does say eventually, and I bet anything you're here for so yet another thing. Ah, uh, what is it you're here for, my friends? Water. Uh, hold, hold, She's hold, hold on just roughly. Water. <laughs> <laughs> hold on just a moment. Um, skull hat. Hmm. I will allow you I to use a scrutiny to try to figure out what the fuck she's doing, yes. Uh, okay, I'll start with the scrutiny, but it's only a 47. <laughs> wow, that was a close one. <laughs> Keep going. Uh, however, I would like to discreetly turn off the, uh, the, 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 the faceplate speaker on my suit and use my, uh, and use the integrated, uh, use the, uh, the, the, the whisper beat or the in or the built-in vox to talk to the captain without being heard out loud. Okay, I need a what was it? A deceive check, basically. A deceive check. Try to look like you're not talking when you are talking. Versus ninety. Okay. As you pause mid breath, trying to figure out what is she wants, you're actually not sure what in God's name, like sorry, the uh, Aethril's name she wants. Um, you see, no reason. She's obviously not a merchant. Yes, merchants um, dress a very specific way, and she introduced herself as a noble. Oh, sorry, introduced herself as a noble. She's right. not here to sell you anything. Uh, oh no, 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 what I, what I, the reason I want to quickly do that to talk to my captain no, 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 is no. so that I, I can just tell you him... Your, I was telling okay, you what, what your scrutiny revealed about her. Okay, okay. Thanks. Now, as you pause to try and say something to your captain, she just immediately interjects and go, it's rude to just leave a lady hanging. Come now, we are speaking of matters that are important. If you have something to say, just say it. I, I switched back. I'm terribly sorry I wear this suit for reasons that include the fact that I only have one fully functioning lung and I occasionally need to pause. It can be quite an inconvenience in my line of business. And I switch, I try to quickly switch back to the Vox and this time get um, so a word you're trying to my deceive captain. her with an outright lie, please roll. Yep. My deceive is still 90. Okay. Yes, it does figure, doesn't it? I had this plan ahead of time, not my fault. Okay, uh, so what are you doing there? I would like to quickly say to my captain, oh, uh, in uh, over, over uh, whisper beads so that no one else can hear me say it, I think this. I think this woman might be associated with merchants we fleeced last time we were down here. Look for, check our backs, and I switch back and continue to try and uh, to try and uh, blather and charm and find out what this woman wants. Um, yeah, six one. Would you like to check your backs literally? At this point, uh, you know what's great about being a tech priest? Mm. Being I psychotic. Think... I have a big robo arm with an eye on the end of it. They can look around wherever it wants without me turning around. Would you like to use that then? Yes. Cool. I've got bad news for you. I've been rolling your own willpower tests privately against her blather check. You all failed miserably because no one's good at it except Sketh. Not only is the entirety of the behind you basically abandoned, like everyone's like closed up shot and moved on, but there's like between 20 and 25 servitors kind of looming a good like like a good, like, 50 meters or so behind you. Like, there's, a, they're like a firing squad formation here. Um, in response to this, Sig is going to laugh. Ah, uh, you know, she's really good at blather. Like, scary good. She had us entranced. Basically, my yes. scream of counter song. Yes. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Like, I, I, you guys actually haven't noticed, because I've been rolling time for this, because, uh, again, really good bladder skill. It's been close to, like, 15 minutes of her just and Sketh just fucking talking. And you can't... It's like, it's such... It, it's it's a special kind of blather where it's both really irritating but completely enrapturing. 
because it's always like you're just close, so close to getting to the point or so close to learning something that you just can't not pay attention, and that's why. <laughs> she also right. rolled well without being really fucking good at it, so. Like, if uh, you think Sketh I'm is good at doing what she's doing, what no, need... no, no, she's good at doing this. So uh, that's happened. And, uh, Sketh hasn't noticed. Only Sigsman's noticed so far because he's the only one who can, like, turn his head, technically without turning his head. Sigs has laughed. She just looks at him like, what's so funny, darling? He's going to continue not saying anything and just shake his head. But at the same time, I have more mechadendrites. And one's going to poke Desdemona. It's one of your arms just bap. <laughs> I'm unsure of the rulings of what I'm allowed to do under this. Well, you just got bad for the Mega Dend, right? You can react how you want to that. You can turn your head to go the fuck with that, mate. Sig, are you trying to do this discreetly, or are you just turning into a three-armed, uh, three-armed octopus and bonking things around you? <laughs> uh, I mean, I try to do it discreetly, but considering we're like the only people here, she's going to see deceive. any movement. You may yeah. roll deceive. Okay, I mean, I'll try it, but I'm not expecting it to work. Neither yeah. am I. Neither am I. Go ahead. Fellowship, basic skill. Yeah, so I have a 22. Oh, this going to be funny. Yeah, no. Nope. Uh, she sees you, like, poke him and goes, Sir, Her. are you uh, malfunctioning, perhaps? I know a wonderful mechanic that exists for my own private use and starts fucking blathering again. Well, uh, I need you to roll a willpower check, look. Sigsman, to not forget what it is you wanted to tell her. I wasn't trying to tell her anything. I was just trying to get her to look around. She's going to look yeah. at you. <laughs> is the problem. Like you, Basically, you poke her, she's yes. going to look okay. at you. And I'm, hoping, like... I'm hoping that Desdemona is intelligent enough to look at Sig and then notice that his optical <laughs> negative right, is at staring at a bunch of things. roll awareness. <laughs> Yeah. I will let you roll awareness to try and notice his mecha hit. One of his dendrites is, like, looking behind him. <laughs> well, that's a failure, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, and... willpower is failed. All right, then. Uh, you temporarily go blank on what it is you wanted to tell her when Desdemona looks over all shocked and offended, and then she just returns to looking forward, as do you, and you, then you remember what she was to say, and you resist the urge to face palm. Meanwhile, uh, she has continued to blather. Uh, Sketh, would you like to try something to either stop it or make your friends realize what's going on in some fashion? Like, how do you want to deal uh, with this? One, one second, I'm you going... You have realized on some level she might be buying for time, but like I said, you don't know about the stuff going on behind you. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at my options here. Unfortunately, other than Deceive itself, I don't have any really aggressive skills for social, so... Um... Make her think you're a dragon. Well, ma'am, it, 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 is, it has been quite interesting uh, running into you, but I'm afraid we were down here for business. We have, uh, we, we have a, great deal of, uh, a great deal of things we need to take care of before we return to the ship, so uh, I, I, perhaps, we could, uh, perhaps we could exchange Vox, uh, Vox numbers so that uh, we could perhaps continue this conversation later in much more pleasant bi That's a surroundings than this open street. All right, so that's a charm attempt, I assume, to end the fucking blather. Go ahead. Oh, uh, I'm spending a fate on that. Okay. <laughs> that's better. Yeah, charm is. of charm of eighty. Uh she just smiles a dazzling, happy smile. Oh, I would love your number, sweetie. I'll uh, just send it to this address. Uh, in fact, I'll have my servitors give you the address. I simply have so much business to do today, and I have talked far too long with you. Um, yes, Servitor, could you pick his number up and bring it to me at my estate? I am so sorry to have wasted your time like this. Of course you are busy. And she just kind of flounces away, just in time for you all to hear the distinctive clunk of metal hidden metal. You naturally turn around, and notice there's about 25 Servitors with guns mounted on them, and two of them appear to have taken a heavy bolter put it on a stand, and are about to fucking shoot your ass. Never mind so, the two in front of you, who probably aren't there to give you a number. 
Can I Anybody use a fake point to murder this woman? Heads? You may use a f like. Are you burning or spending? <laughs> well, I have an extra fate. I'd like to use it on something. You do, do you want to spend a point. point? What do you want to spend the point on? Well, I, I, I want to kill her really take badly. Take hostage. <laughs> I'm away. You want to kill her really badly. Um, unfortunately, due to the blather that like, no one was able to break, she's able to basically get off scot-free for the first she round. She has disengaged. More or less, yeah. You can't even take a shot at her because she went straight down like a... It's not really an alleyway, but down a corner, basically. So I have a question for you. Mm. Do you know why I had Sig laugh? Why? He's crazy. Pretty much crazy. He has his EMP cannon now. No, I'm aware. This might not be a threat to you. I'm just... I'm saying... <laughs> yep. Uh, he, he just finds it hilarious. They attacked by servitors just recently after putting in the capability to shut down any technological thing. Convenient. Roll initiative. How the fuck do we do that again? <laughs> uh, D20 plus... Uh, uh, D D10 bleh, uh, plus, plus your agility, agility right? bonus. Right. right. You no, people D can't beat servitors, that's bad. No, not D210. Well, you'd win if you rolled one. D2010. Hey, max in it I could get. Woo. So I have a 16. Ooh. <sighs> Out of character theorizing, I could shut that heavy bolter down immediately. Uh, Sketh, you got a uh, seven total? Seven. Yep. Yeah, okay, just double checking. I Sig roll over slowly and wipe my eye. It's rather comfortable on your ship. Checking the servitors. Now I'm very happy I stayed here. Yeah, you, you, you've already got enough bullet wounds without any fresh bullets being introduced to them. Even though apparently that leech helped you. Thank you, weird thing in the swamp. <laughs> it likes mutants. Okay, so I've got the initiative set out. Now, I will point this out. Uh, the ones behind you are not the same as the ones in front of you. The ones in front of you are massive and covered armor plating. The ones behind you are a bit more normal. Like I said, the ones in front of you seem to be made, have been made from Ogron, for fuck's sake, and the ones behind you just are normal servitors, as all things considered. So, uh, first turn goes to Distamona, because of course it does. Question. Where is Answer. that alleyway? The one she slipped down? Mm -hmm. Um, Double-checking something. Yes, what about it? I think she's, I think know she's where asking it is. how far. <laughs> oh, how far away? Um, like 10 meters, not far at all. How fast was she moving? Brisk walk. Hmm. How much would everyone hate me if I just went after her? Do I want to die? I promise you I will not hate you if I die. This is a lot of servitors, though. Yeah, that's the problem. 25 normal, two big ones. Um, they have a mounted heavy bolter. Is there any chance we could get, like, some orientation of spacing here? Ah, uh, well. Uh, there, 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 there's there's two like directions bitches. down the street. <laughs> right, I don't know how far away everything is, and for my ranges, that really Alright, alright, I'll knock something together real quick. We have grenades, right? Yeah, though not as many as I'd like. Mm. Someone wouldn't let me become a walking armory. Never said you could. Just said it I don't him. really. Uh, yeah, I don't really blame him. Uh, that reminds me, I would have reattached a. Uh... Damn it! Where'd all my metal shit go? Oh, by the way, 
what guns do they have? Like, are they ballistic weapons or las guns or? Hold on, I need to find something. Hmm. Uh, Kaylee, do you remember which book the Exterminator cartridge is started out in? Oh, I wrote it down. Oh, let me see. Just go to that shopping thread and it's probably in there somewhere. There we go, into the storm one two seven. For those wondering what the extended silence is, Skull Hat's still drawing a map for us. I'm staring blankly into space. My mind is dripping out of my ears. I'm reading the TV tropes page for Warhammer the End Times Vermintide. Ha! Huh. I'm going to be out of this campaign for long periods. Or well, this session, anyway. But at least I didn't get blowed up. This is true.
I'm going to have to run this uh, session through an editor before it can be posted. Yep. Sorry. No, no just leave the silence. Mm. I really expect you all to go. Oh shit, and run. But all right. Well, we need to we need to know the surroundings before we can effectively run. For all we know, we're in an open space with nothing on either side of us for a hundred meters, and we're just gonna get shot to hell. When Dahl appears, we... goes, "What the fuck?" and cast a mention door. We all thank him, and then he steals the ship. That is probably what would happen. Yes. Cool. And then... You guys have spell jammer. <laughs> I so want to do a spell jammer campaign. Never heard of one that's three kilometers long and all metal. Actually, from reading this, I wouldn't mind doing Warhammer Fantasy at some time. Warhammer Fantasy is fun and crazy. Mordheim is especially so. Okay, uh, this will do. There should be a new map for you all to visit. Yep. Uh, control E to bring the stream to it. Thank you. There you go. So yeah, that's a lot of guys. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. And I don't have a token for it because it doesn't, unless you attack it for some retarded reason. But there is a heavy bolter over there between the two ranks of, uh, for some reason, they can't put down it. I can't do the big arrow thing, but it's between the two uh, ranks of uh, servitors in the far west of you. Yep. Uh, make sure you're using the pointer tool, not a paint tool, to show us something. Uh, yeah, there you go. Yep, that definitely uh, shifts it more into run for me than fight. I said 25, I meant 25. Yeah. Well, yes, but it's 25 who are 50 meters away. That's we can't close well. that distance. And... No, I'm pretty sure that one didn't come up. But... No, you never, said, you never said how far away they were. Pretty sure I did, but that could be a big you, you so did crazy. not. All right, well, 50 minutes away, heavy bolter set up on a platform, like a firing thing, and there's 25 of them, plus the two in front of you. Yep. All right. Uh, you can't, at this distance, you can't tell the ones in, like, the west of you, like the 50 meters away ones. The armaments are guns. Could be all those assortments. You're not too sure. These two, however, are a bit more obvious in their uh, equipment. You're pretty sure they're using heavy lasses on either arm. Like, they're just, they're basically walking heavy las platforms. Okay. okay. Well, I assume this is the alley down here. Yep. That's the one she left, yes. So and I... these blue things are like stacked crap St in the street? Stands. Uh, merchant stands. I will point out that uh, there was population there and they're leaving, so there are people like there-ish, but they're hastily walking away. Yep. Behind you, as long as it's been like there, nobody set the servitors. She clearly set your asses up. Yep. So, Desdemona. Looking up the run action. I mean, I know what we should do out of character. Just run down the alley, try and down one of those on Desdemona's turn, because she is capable of doing that, assuming they're not super tough. Yeah. Uh, I and... was just honestly going to try to fly after that woman and get her. Mm. And I can disable one of them with basically no difficulty at all. Well, uh, Desdemona, it is your turn if you want to act. Yep. Uh, all right. Let's uh, let me look this up for my gear.
Huh. Crack grenades hit less hard than I thought they would. Well, yeah, you're mostly just trying to get them addicted. Funny. Lol. Alright, fine. I'll shoot. I end up dying horribly for this. Well, I'd recommend moving as well. Well, then I can't shoot so much. If you die, I promise I won't hate you. Actually, throwing a grenade is just an action I can take, then move. So yeah, screw it. Let's see, how's throwing work? I haven't done that yet. I mean, it's got a range of strength bonus times 3 meters, which is easy within that range. Um, but what do I gotta do to aim it? Okay, so it's just a right, just a weapons test. Presuming you succeed. Well, it beats ballistics of sixty. Well, you're chucking an object, so yes. What are you chucking? Just a crack grenade. Yep, crack grenade at servitor one. All right. Roll me what it do. Twenty explosive damage. All right. Uh, how big of an area does that affect? Just the target. Ah, crack grenade, right? Not fragmentation. <laughs> Basically, a uh, thing designed to crack open holes. Yeah, it's mostly used to blow up tanks. Good choice. Double checking his things. I'm just really hoping that because these are servitors, their agility is crap, and therefore I might maybe get to act before my back <laughs> gets filled with bolter rounds. All right, let's I, see. It, it's a slender hope. Well, you're pretty far What's away. What's the pen on this? Six. Okay. So... All right, he's... That blew a nice big chunk out of him, but he's still standing there. Doesn't really seem to care much about the missing chunk. Yay. As I understand it, he's missing the chunks of his brain that would be necessary to care about the missing chunk. More or less. Well, I'd recommend moving. Uh, yeah, 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 you want that to is, your turn? Uh, uh, let's see... So you'd like to fly by this guy? Or run, or walk, or what are you doing? Yeah, the jump pack lets me move double my speed. So it's a short, you know, one of the okay. usual short hops. Alright, you uh, just do a little whoop right next to him. It doesn't seem to respond really, it just kind of makes servitor noises, which sound mostly like grinding gears. I'll reveal a little more of the other way then.
Make a perception check. There's a note on it. On the wall. That's there. That shouldn't be there. It says something to the lines of, uh, nice try, sweetie. And then signed in a nice, really, really pretty cursive. Hmm. I mean, Apparently have... she planned to take this because this place can close. Do you, you have a blast through grenade? that wall, though. Yeah. I mean, we never fully went over how much I'm being allowed to carry of this stuff at once. Well, logic dictates three at maximum. Three right. grenades total. So well, yeah, she probably... they are kind of up to you, but three. Right, so she has probably one more. Sigismund, it's your move. Okay, what are the movement rules again? Go where you want, when you want. I mean, there's no, uh, there's no tech opportunity unless they have some sort of weird trait. For base movement. Uh, what were you saying? I believe it's meters and agility for base movement. Agility bonus. Yes. Yep. That doesn't seem right, because I know I've moved more than two meters in a turn before while doing an action. A half, a half action... Uh, doing a move as a half action is your agility bonus in meters. A fall move is double it. A charge is triple. A run is apparently six times. Hmm. All right, well, then I guess I'm only moving two, because I need to disable one of these things, or we're going to have some trouble. What is this thing? I have a one-tiredness. Oh, that was me being funny with your uh, fatigue. It should be gone now. Yeah. Okay, so. Stuff to do. Where's the thing I want to use? Big server right. number one is a big old chunk missing out of it, but it's still standing. Well, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Logus implant. Which means I need to make a tech use test, which uh, I pass. <laughs> yep. And now I have to make a toughness test, or I get a level of fatigue, but that just is what it is. What is my toughness now? 50, alright. Alright, I take a level of fatigue. Okay. That is what it is. What does one level of fatigue do? Minus yeah. 10 on all rolls. Eh, alright, so it just balances out with what I just did. Okay, whatever. Well, I'll let you do tough this after it's finished. <sighs> okay, so uh, I move only two meters, so where's the farthest I can go with that? I guess just run past Skeff down here. Excuse me? Bump by the Xeno. Yep. And I'll aim at big servitor number no number. Yeah, I'll give him a number. And hopefully I'm not going to miss horribly right now. By all means. Of course I do. Okay. Miss. You got a fade? I used it earlier on the yeah, medical test. Always burn it. Uh, I only got one of those. Well, I got bad news for y'all. Despite the fact their agility is crap, the crowd load maximum for them, and that means they beat Sketh. Yep. Who gets to suck heavy bolter? I'll be fair. I'll roll a d2. Uh, Sketh, would you like one or two? I will take two. All right, uh, six one. You're gonna suck heavy. Whoa, that's a really well, coordinated, shambled together fire team. Well, fortunately, these are battle servitors, so their ballistic skill is not terrifyingly terrible. So they have hit, but gain no bonus shots for full auto. Well, I'll try to dodge. Okay. I mean, I'm not great at it, but I yeah, try. Yeah, better than sucking the full Slavo, yes. 
Nope. Wow, you dodge into it. <laughs> Apparently. Not that it really does anything. Okay, so that is ten hits then allocated through rolling. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out um, a few Hit things I could do with this. Like. Yeah, they're not smart enough to try doing this. They're just going to full auto the one guy because your servitors and kill command has been inputted. All right. So you're going to be hit in the body, body, arm, head, arm, then a whole shit of body. So, you might want to uh, write that down. Yeah, I will. I hope we survive long enough to find out what this woman's beef is with us. That'd be swell. Really, it could be any number of different beefs. It's steak. I hope we live long enough to find out what this woman's corpse starch is with us. <laughs> it's my body. She's already snuck in and killed me and converted me. Uh... This is going to suck so hard. Okay, here comes the wounds. I will roll this public because it's going to suck. Yep, roll the damage and give where they're supposed to... I was thinking, like, well, wouldn't they do covering fire or pinning? I'm like, no, they're just going to shoot the one guy because they're on kill command. They're fucking servitors. Just shoot the thing, you know? Yeah, right. well, roll the damage and put where it was a hit, please. Just checking its pen. Okay, these are all at pen five. All right. Okay. And the damage type? It's a bolter, so... That's rending, right? Uh, double checking... Because uh, I know it's not impact. X, so that's explosive, I believe? Mm, Alright. Yep, yeah, explosive. yeah, bolter rounds explode on impact. Yep, okay, so, so... Explosive bolter rounds. So the augmented engine blade is AP9 versus that, so they'll get through five yep. of it. Alright. The other four still happens. Uh, hang on. If it's a bolter, don't they get to roll uh, two different damage rolls and take the better? Yeah, tearing. Why do you think I rolled it twice? Oh, okay, so that's for the one thing. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I, I'll try and put that yep. down when it happens. Yep, pair them together. Alright, so, uh, that's five gets faster armor, right? Yep. Oh, wait, no, he isn't subtracting. Oh, pen, sorry, yep. Pen five. five. That's faster armor, yeah. All right, you good? Sorry, what? Uh, you figured out your damage and all that? You're ready for the next round? Oh, uh, hang on. That was one shot. They got ten, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh... Sprinting for cover may have been more uh, useful. Yeah, to yeah, yeah. Well, that's not what he does. I know, I'm just... I said heavy just, bolter. <laughs> just saying, at 40k, if you're not in cover, you're dead. Yeah, I, I realize. This is a heavy bolter, i.e. the thing the giant space marines carry around to put down covering fire. Yeah, we got it, but he didn't have the ability to do it, so he keep moving. double move to that cover right there. Look, what happened, happened. I'm just double checking how this works. Uh, just tell me when you're ready for the next Shlavo. Salvo. Salvo. Sorry. And, by the way, Skullhat? 
Yeah. I don't know what that is. Use that center so you only have to you only have to put one line per roll. Oh, that is going to be incredible for me. Thank you. I mean, all my weapons are both. I have no idea what you mean by use that syntax. The right max Just 2d10, top. comma 2d10, and it will roll them both and use only the higher. Then add the constants, like plus two. Or just copy-paste everything before the first uh, equal sign, if you have to. Okay, so if I, it, I don't roll toughness, it takes away damage equal to my toughness bonus, right? Yes. Yep. Basically, armor and toughness combined. Okay, so that does nothing, because I have a toughness bonus of five. Perfect. <laughs> you still need it in the square brackets. You know uh -huh. that. Ooh. It's like that. Okay. So take away four from that. It's 16. Another five makes it 11. Yep. Okay. I might be dead. Well, you still have... Uh... You can burn something. Mm. Okay, so that's seven, but hold on a second. So I've got... <coughs> oh, hold on. Okay. I just need to check something in regards to damage really quick. Okay, just tell me when you hit critical. That's what I'm checking. I know. Yes, I'm taking critical from that hit. How much critical? Well, you have the page open, you tell me. I have a total of 14... Critical? Jeez. No, total oh, of 14 wounds is my maximum. And hmm. that hit, combined with the 11 from the last one, puts me at 4 wounds over. Okay, so that's the left arm, left arm exploding. Okay, hold mm -hmm. on. Okay, uh, critical damage 4. The blast causes the target to howl in agony. He takes 1d5 levels of fatigue, is stunned for a round, and the limb is useless until medical attention is received. Cool. Make okay. note of that. Uh, three rounds of fatigue. Or three pips, or whatever we want to call it. Yep. Levels. So I currently have four levels of fatigue. Mm -hmm. And I'm stunned for a round. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'm dead, is what this is coming down to. I'm dead. <laughs> now you're dead. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, uh, my God. That's 11 to the head. Um, fate Would you like to burn a fate point to survive this? Uh, would it actually save me, though? Yes. yes. Burning a fate point? Burning a fate point just saves hits. you from death. It, yeah, it would yeah, save it, me for the rest of the hits. Yes, no, no, they'd stop like, shooting you at that point, because at that point they've shot you so much, they think your head is literally exploded, so you'd fall over like you were dead, and they they just the rest of the shots would just kind of go wild. Is it bad that I'm really curious what would happen to the campaign if Sig died? They'd have no captain, but unlike the pilot, they don't necessarily, finger quotes, need the captain. Like, you don't actually drive the fucking ship. They need it's, you for, like, keeping the crew in line, but... It just makes me incredibly curious. It would be really You don't awkward. have to. You can always die. It's always on the table. Yeah, I mean, what? if you want to make a new character, you can always do it. But I'd say roll it, you know? You might as well take the fate, burn it, and... Well, that's at zero fate. Yeah, hey, or, or you're dead and you're at zero everything. <laughs> Behold, we return with your captain. The immortal... Uh... Uh, uh, Tim. Oh. Right, Shall you burn a fate I'll, point to survive? You just need an orc I'll, captain. I'll burn the fate point. I mean, okay, 
Look at this thing. I'm dead anyway, because I'm still stunned for a round. Uh, yeah, if I'm correct, you're... you just brought to one wound and you're active still? With by burning to survive? How does that work? I think it, you just... Let me check fate. I'm trying to determine whether or not you're still stunned in or unconscious. Burning fate point. Uh, okay. You survive whatever it was that would have killed you, but only just. You were rendered unconscious. K.O. Yeah. On the plus side, they're probably not going to waste a lot of time shooting you when you're unconscious. I suppose. All right, but... so the rest of the shots basically miss or they choose not to fire or whatever as you fall to the floor. Um, let's see. You let's how do I describe this? Well, the thing still happened to your left arm. That hasn't changed. But oh, yeah. when it impacts your head, your helmet is detonated and you somehow are alive afterward. Like your helmet it, is it gone. It knocks my helmet off where it explodes in midair and I'm on the ground. Yeah. And you flop over to the ground. They thought your whole head had been gone, so that's why they stopped shooting. Luckily, that's all they can really coordinate to do. Oh, besides, move up. Well, okay then. <laughs> that's a question. How heavy is Sig? Uh, how many metal arms does he have on his body? Ah, oh, fucking hell. How, how, many, if, how many original parts does he have? Because he looks like he's probably about... 90 kilos of flesh before he started rigging himself up with siren. I'm just trying to figure um, out how impossible it is to get your body out of here. Well, okay, you you can see on his picture actually the the um the mecha the uh, what's it called the utility mechadendrite. I think actually I think it's a different one. Add three more of those and you got it out right. Uh huh. Oh hell. Yeah, you're not moving him. <sighs> he weighs almost a ton at this stage. Like, it's just not happening. You need a forklift. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, that was their turn. Skith, it's yours. Yay! So that could be named at you, by the way. They got I'm really aware. lucky on their roll, and you got, like, if you had rolled, like, one higher, you'd been fine. I know. I, 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 called, that, I called that coin, and it, it landed on my captain. So that was, uh, <laughs> that was four shots out of their ten for hitting. Mm -hmm. yep. Heavy bolter. Not heavy stubber. Bolter. Yep. Um, so, I'm in uh, nice, heavy armor. Clang, 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 clang. And that's my run. Jesus. I could actually run one more meter than that, but I don't think it would help me. Well, see ya. Actually, I forgot. <laughs> my agility was lowered by ten. So I couldn't even move as far as I did. I'm actually here. I swear to God that fatigue, that initial fatigue thing only kicks in after the tur after you've done your first turn. Well, yeah, your it it, it kicks in at the end of the turn. What What are you talking about fatigue for? Uh, your that, um, the thing that slowed you down when you failed your endurance test to increase your ballistics. Nothing. Nothing slowed me down. I'm saying the armor lowers your agility. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay. Sorry. Yep. Wow. Sucks. Don't it. Yeah. Well, on the plus side, I can leave whenever I want. I can move like 100 meters in a turn. Yeah, that's cute. See, that's just rude. Uh huh. I must break you. Of course, the thing is, she can go right yeah, over Yeah, they were on someone being stupid enough to try and follow her, and that's why she brought those two. You're not flying past that. They take why up not? Like, the whole available space. Is, is there a roof over this random alley for no reason? There's a roof over everywhere for no reason. Yeah, oh, wait, the this reason is this is a hive city. Yeah. We're basically indoors the entire time. Yeah, Yeah, and they, they don't exactly have huge vaulting roofs here. Even on the Noble District, they have to support the building above them. So, um, the good news is they had to run to get there, so they don't do anything else, but, um... <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Bone Town. Population, Population us. Good news, though. Desdemona, it's your turn. You oh, turn question. to probably check on your friends and meet a wall of metal, flesh, and pissed off. Um, what structure roughly is the walls? Uh, I mean, are we metal talking metal of a substance kind? Yeah, we're not okay, very we're talking. Scientific <laughs> yeah, we're talking. Probably not going to waste my time blowing it open with a grenade. Probably well, not. Yeah. 
Not on this level, anyway. At lower levels, you probably do it, but here, nah, it's well maintained. Well, like, this is less than Ali Morris Street, is my point. Fine. They want to be in my way. I'm going to um, unload on Big Servitor 1. By all means. I'm going to go ahead and use some Kraken rounds for this. Now I was about you like lifting your guns like Judge Dredd, go Kraken rounds. And <laughs> yeah, of course. Because um, I assume they look heavily armored. Extremely, yes. Yeah. Well, they are Servitors. They're naturally going to have a butt ton of it. Well, I'm going to assume that that's going to be good enough. You hit them, yes. <laughs> um, so that's going to be a full salvo. How many degrees of success? Oh, consider to 60? Mm. Plus the semi-auto? Plus the plus point the, blank? Uh, essentially, uh, so pistols max, can't basically. get point blank. They can't actually get point blank bonuses because they can use a melee. Those, you've got those uh, motion detectors on them as well. Uh-huh. I've, I've basically got all degrees of success here. I'm rolling against like a 90. So as many shots number as you can have. possible. How much yeah, is that? they say I get four shots each. Okay, then. So that's eight shots total. Start shooting. <laughs> that, that four, is that your semi-auto rate? Um, rate of fire is three, so I'm adding the additional okay, for the Okay, so main you shot. are including the, the original shot. Okay. Hold on. So it's going to go right leg, left leg, body, um, left arm, head... And then a whole shit of bodies. Again, writing it down is best. Yeah, I need someone. Mm. All right, one, let's two, deal with three, the first one. Five, six, seven. Is this all the same target? Well, can't it change? And um, do more. I, I technically have to choose. Um, do you choose each, when you fire all of them, or have, uh, as you fire each one? No, I believe I have to. Well, actually, you no. Just... I think what this works is that. If there's an adjacent target, when it dies, it shifts. Okay. I can't remember okay. reading something like that in the semi-auto and full auto. Well, then uh, I guess you shoot Servitor 1 until it dies and then move to the other one. Okay, yeah, you can allocate uh, any additional hits you get. So the initial like base amount have to go on the same target, but additional hits can be put on him or a different target. Right. I'm What's pretty like, sure uh, he's you... going to survive the first bullet, so... We're going to go what's ahead your, and split, um, basically... What, what's the number of shots you have base? Base, it's one shot each for, like... Okay, so for the first two, you can't choose where they go, but right. the other ones you can. All right, fair enough. We're going to go four and four. Well, yeah, assuming they survive. Okay, so yeah. first on the first one, so that was 20. What's your pen? Good point. Um, pen? Oh, yeah. Subtract so one damage off of each of these, um, and up the pen by... Four. So, so much total pen. Nine. Damn, all right. <laughs> all right. Uh, your second shot into Servitor Number One finally brings it down in a crashing heap of metal. Brarg. Leaving the other shots. All right, let's see. But what was the crit? <laughs> uh, Non-player characters generally, you don't bother with the crit table. But that's technically the only way to die. <laughs> Yeah, but it when wounds, slows the game down tremendously. Up. Yeah, when damage equals wounds, you just stare down. Oh, wow, they're going to be really dead. Yep, even with their obscene number of wounds. Uh, Desdemona just turns these huge things, completely unimpressed, flips her guns up and just rumbles out like a, like a frickin', uh, like a judge, crack rounds, and just 
unloads in the first one a couple times, blows its legs off, and then shoots it in the head of a good measure. Other one, she turns, layers the rest of the shots in the chest, and as it slumps over in a pile of scrap, like, kicks its head a good three feet. Meanwhile, all I see is two large armored tanks walk into the alley, and then all of their blood and body parts go flying back out from whence they came. Yes. And ahead. That kink, skips a bit. Kink, kink, kink. Don't corner me. How about just don't fight you? Note to self, get further on her good side. Sigismund, you're on the floor. Unconscious. <sighs> Servitors, well, I only have one target now. I have good news for you. That's pretty good cover. It's made of metal. Can they actually see Sketh anymore? Well, they saw me. They saw me lumber over here. Sure, that but servitors aren't that you... smart. They the order to them may have been shoot anything that moves for the next oh say eighty seconds. You have sixteen additional armor from the cover. Okay. Keep so, that in mind. A total of twenty-five. Damn it, why do they... They're not even that good at shots, but they're still hitting you. All right. That's when the werewolves show up. More wealth. This is at pen five. Um... And if your cover sucks it up, it cover sucks it up. Yeah, uh, just, just hold on a moment. The max they can roll is 22. Mm -hmm. Cover gets damaged, though. This, these, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. They How might many... blow your cover out of the way eventually. Yeah. Okay. How many HP does the cover have? Sitting from where they're shooting from, I'd put its wounds around 50. Because they have to chew through the literal front half to get to the back half, then to your ass. Alright, so you just keep on rolling and tell me when I need to start worrying about my own AP. Because I, I I don't know how degrading cover will work. So carry on. I'm trying to look Slowly. it up right now. God damn, they could not roll very high this time around. Uh, okay, do... so, hold on. I've got cover in, up now. It, it, right. it depends on where the shot actually hits. We have a list right there. I'm, I'm assuming that Sketh is, like, entirely behind this cover? Oh, yeah. Okay, so basically all of it's going to hit cover. Okay. Let me just calculate wounds real quick. Okay, no. Um, right, uh... The cover does not have wounds. Mm, why not? That's not how it works. Uh, okay. Any any shot <coughs> that gets through the uh, armor of the cover is applied to the target. Oh, alright then. Now, I'll damaging them cover time. is uh, any hit against the cover that goes over its armor reduces its armor by one. Let's go one at a time, then. Uh, the 14 gets through thanks to its pen for a total of three wounds against you, Sketh. Does uh, not pen my armor. Yes. Okay, so now the armor goes down by one by from 16 one. to 15. 11 just doesn't get through, I think, at all. No, it gets through. Again, it shouldn't affect uh, Sketh, but the nine, armor goes so down nine. by one again. So now we're at 14? Yeah, for yep. the cover. 
15 gets through at 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll keep track of the, the, the covers um, armor. It's currently 14. So 9 wounds against the arm for the third shot. Is exactly equal to my uh, to my armor. Pings off because okay. we still have toughness bonus. Now we're down to thirteen armor. Uh so thirteen minus five is eight. eight so ten to your head exploding. Uh ten uh, between my armor and my toughness, I'm okay. Be take no wounds from that. Yep, my toughness is three. My armor is nine against this damage type. Okay. So nothing, nothing short of a twelve right, matters. Right, right. Because their pen is going against the armor. Okay, mm -hmm. we're down to twelve armor. Uh, and that's a big one against the arm. Twenty-one, so that's uh, five less. So that's sixteen versus your arm. We'll say left arm. Uh, all points are equal on my armor. Uh, I'm yep. just saying which one might get blown the fuck up. Yep, okay, uh, so, uh, 16, mm -hmm. uh, AP 9, and then 3, uh, so that's, uh, 4 gets through. Okay, we're down to 11 armor. Okay. 9 versus your body. The impact's armor. Down to 10 armor. Um, 7 versus body goes off. Okay, now the nine armor. Uh, Twelve versus body. It is exactly my armor plus toughness. Pings off. Eight armor. Twelve versus body. Pings off. Is yep. Seven armor. Um, thirteen versus body. It is one wound. So now you're at five wounds, basically. How much cover remains of that? Uh, eight. No, seven. Wouldn't it be six because it was started seven when the first hit came, or? No, seven is after the last hit. So, that place is shot to shit. I imagine there's yep. a lot of holes in it. Yep. <laughs> That's what's left of your cover. But you're alive! Ah, uh, they're gonna march a bit. So are they marching with a heavy bolter? No, no, no. Um, I imagine still the non-heavy bolters are marching. Okay. Yeah, anyone who doesn't have a heavy bolter is just marching up. And how armed are the rest of them? Looks mostly like las guns. Okay. Maybe some stubbers. Still, quantity. Enough DACA. Skip, your man. turn. You sort of, uh, a few shots ping past your, uh, <laughs> uh, your heavy armor and your cover, and your cover isn't looking so good, but you're alive. With five wounds, but yeah. Clang, 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 clang. Howdy. What happened to Sigsman? Uh, he was laying face down in a pool of his own helmet, um, but they stopped shooting at him. You hear that rapid sound? It sounds a bit like a thousand bar cigars trying to punch their way through a wall. That's a heavy bolter. You're pretty sure that's what got him. Yeah. I'm fairly sure she knows what that sounds like. Yeah, that's that's a nasty sound. That's the sort of thing that says, oh, there's a space marine nearby, or we're trying to kill a Xeno the size of a house. This is overkill, if anything, to bring even one of those. The good news uh, is if you somehow kill all the servitors, it's yours. <laughs> uh, now in the alley, I look and notice that it's a dead end. And if my face were at all visible, the sudden sadness upon it would also be. Um, I May I look around to see if there's any way to open this uh, alley? 
Certainly, on your next turn, Desdemona, that's yours. All right, so there's a mechanics question I have to ask. Um, mm. I'm going on assuming with math on this one. Yay, math. Um, by rules, I can double my movement with the jet pack. Hey, Running is then, you know, multiplying that Time by six. six. So I'm assuming they stack? Mm, I believe so, yeah. That would <laughs> speed a lot of fuel, though. And, you know, you're going high speed, so if you fuck up... You're going to suck dirt. Or, in this case, steel. Just need to know so my no options. <laughs> they got you pretty well pinned here. It is between 55 and 60 meters to where that bolter is set up. Yeah. I mean, I could technically, with my full movement, move all the way to here. I can technically do that. Yeah, you can, uh, you hope I mean, the bolt, I mean, it's on a stand, but you don't know if the stand can turn that full degree. Yeah. I would assume it would at least take them a little bit of, like, at least a turn to move it around. They are Usually in place servitor, guns. so even if it could turn that full degree, it will probably take them a turn just because they're uncoordinated servitor radiants. Yeah. The problem is, is that in afterward, I have a bunch of guns pointed at me. Yeah. Yep. 25 guns. I mean, my armor's okay, but it's... <laughs> that's that's a lot of guns. You may be our war goddess, but you are not a war goddess. You're flattered. Options, options. I mean, I know I what the just, most logical option is. I have just had the worst idea ever. Oh, I, I like the worst Dude, idea ever, share. actually. They stopped shooting Sigismund when they thought they headshotted him and he fell over dead. You're going to try right? faking dead? <laughs> this is not a good idea. <laughs> They're servitors. Okay. They can walk out your body and shoot it some more. Is what's going to happen? <laughs> okay, I, I I said it was the worst idea ever. All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> That's the motto. We need to fake our deaths fast. Um, well, I can help. No, ideas. I you can, can just kill you faster. <laughs> so. You're right. It was a terrible idea. Carry on. Um. Assets. I have a pistol. Yeah, that's part of the problem here. We don't have a lot of assets. Nah, I picture these two hiding behind cover, like reloading, and here's the March of Servitor. They're just having a quiet moment. Well, I'm not really worried about Desdemona surviving. The problem is she... The survival of the others is more important. And they're probably not gonna. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. So, you can't technically tell him the Emperor will save you because he's a filthy Xeno, so that's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Can't move Sigismund because he weighs too damn much. So far, the biggest danger seems to be the Heavy Bolter for its incredible range and its retard high base shots. Yeah, yeah, that's for certain. To be sure. fair, it took a while to chew through that cover with the bolter, the heavy bolter just whamming it. Do you think the other cover can hold up better to their smaller range weapon? Because remember, if they can't get any shots through the cover, they're not really damaging it. Yeah, I think I have to go for the crazy idea on my end. I don't see much other options. Because if you take out the heavy bolter, or like if you just destroy it with a grenade or something, they can't use it. Yeah. Um, it's going to take my entire turn to get over there. On the plus side, I'll have a 
a bonus to defenses uh, against getting shot by range attacks for running. So, mm-hmm. so yeah. Um, this is her current planned movement. Out to here, yell some kind of blessing for the Emperor, <laughs> and she's going for it. Um, pretty much down to there and, you know, ducking behind cover. For the Emperor! I mean... Just jetpacking like you're gonna fucking melee it. <laughs> pretty much, um... You feel extremely like an Astartes, just soaring through the air in your massive jetpack. Up until you pass over the blank servitors and hide behind cover like a proper, you know, battle sister. <laughs> Tactics. If I could drop a grenade as I went, I would do it, but... I don't, I still don't uh, think I actually picked up that. The crowd, then. Uh, well, that's good news oh, wait. bad news. Oh wait, no, that's not the right shot. Yeah, never mind. Okay, that group moves forward. However, everyone else, uh, well, that lot has to turn it around, leaving this lot to shoot at you. Okay. Yeah, well, there's the shitty rolls. Only one shot's gonna be able to get at you. And they get a minus twenty on the their ballistic skills. Yeah, even they're not a. They're not hitting you. B. And if that one did, it just the cover doesn't give a fuck. So what's happening is this lot don't seem to give a fuck and are just marching forward resolutely. These those two much more clear lines are turning the heavy bolter around, and the five extra are trying to shoot you with last guns and missing terribly. And could I have cover. just like a red circle or something to show me where the bolter, like, in that line where it's sitting. It's not that big, but alright. I, I just need something, you know? Alright, cool. Big ol' bolter. That's where it's mounted part is. Alright, uh, that's all they can do. Skith! Checking something. All right, I am not clear on the mechanics of this. Can I shoot around this corner without coming completely out of cover? Yeah, it just reduces the amount of cover you're using if they fire back. It means they'll hit your arm and stuff. Yes. So it would leave my arm out of cover, but the other sort three of parts... Kind of. Basically, and when I can. shoot you and if I happen to roll your right arm and that's the one that's poking out of cover, your right arm doesn't have cover because it's, you know... Yeah, I and think it's usually a, yeah, your head has to be there just to look. Yeah. So if I lay so example I shoot and I hit left left arm, it's gonna hit the cover and you get full bonuses. So And there is no accommodation for me just firing a spray and then ducking back. That is what you're doing. It's just it's not fast enough to where they don't shoot back is the concept. Alright. In that case like, uh-huh. imagine lasers are going the whole time. Like, you're, you're exchanging fire the whole time. We're just rolling to see which ones that matter, you know? Right. Okay. Uh, in that case, I need to be supportive and help. Where is the damn... Actions list. There we go. All right. So, 
semi-auto burst down range at these guys. And the nearest one is still inside the normal range of the pistol. So it shouldn't have any penalties. Okay. Rolling versus ballistic skill of that might not. Uh, uh, let's see here. With the plus 10 for semi auto, I think that actually just barely misses. So. You spray some fire at them just in desperation to provide help, and you're not sure if you helped or not. Yep. Well, everyone else is out of it, so Desdemon. Uh... You see them wheeling the huge heavy bolter towards you. You know, oh, did you give me a uh, piloting skill to drive that fucking jetpack at back speed? <laughs> nope, you didn't ask for one. Fuck you, make one. All right, all right. Well, um, then I will spend my fate to. Uh, well, actually, it depends on the mod, but I can use spend fate to get a plus ten. So that would allow me to. Well, what's your skill? Forty. Okay, you're fairly certain going that amount of speed and pushing your thing that hard is. You're not sure if it'll succeed any ten or not. Like maybe. Then I'll I could spend one to re-roll it. You can always roll worse, but all right, let's see. Yeah, roll like worse. That. Oh, I've got good news. You make it. I've got bad news. You're prone. Also, let me check something. You like armor nine, right? Yeah. This isn't gonna do anything to you, but I gotta, you gotta check. You make it yeah, there. Well, you roll max. Okay, take one point for wound. Okay. As you basically, it's really epic looking, but you flip the landing real bad, wing yourself trying to like scoot along the cover, flip into a and just kind of smash yourself to the floor. You're prone. But, but that off. was out of sight, so the cool part remains. Yeah, the, the, no one said you will know the shame of you. The servitors will not have cared. Right, you're prone. Eh, I can get up as a free action. You're no longer prone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You like flip your hair, I meant to do that. So I'm assuming from this cover I can't see them. Not very clearly, no. It's big and like if you were to see them you're you're not in cover anymore. Like your torso is sticking out. So there's no Come chance on. of me popping up and shooting them I have to move to do so. E pretty you could pop up and shoot them, but like everything except your legs would be uncovered. Well, For the additional glory of the Emperor. Continuing glory of the Emperor! Well, I have to take this thing out, so there's no real option. Alright, well, I guess I'll be taking a called shot to aim for the actual uh, gun. Bolta. Alright, um, called shot. Actually, with a called shot, can I just aim for the pod holding it up? Yeah, that's what I'm presuming you're doing. You can aim yeah. for the actual bolter itself, but that'll take longer. Just aim for the thing yeah, holding the, it up. But they can't probably carry it, so... They could it collectively, but they probably can't aim and shoot it collectively. Alright, I can take the call shot at no penalty, so... We get one shot, so... That's how that works. One shot. Yep. How's your aim? Fairly good. Alright, is it a... How many degrees of success is that? Uh, let's see. Just have to check my laser sight real quick. It's fine. It adds a 10. So it's yeah. Not, it's not a call so shot. it's versus 70. So that's three degrees. Okay. That is exactly enough, lucky you, to disable it. Yay. Crump. And now I probably get blown to hell. Yeah, so they, they managed to finally turn it towards you, and you basically poke yourself out of cover, take, like, with one pistol, like, in front of the other, and just, like, 
tongue slightly peeking out as you aim and pop a single shot off, hitting it right where the stand connects to the thing, and it just sort of thuds over on the ground as they're all, all the servitors just stand around stupidly looking at was was once a useful stand is now a piece of slag with a bolter on the ground. Please tell me it lands on one of their feet. Probably did. Wouldn't care though. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's now their turn, and denied the heavy bolter, they're just going to fucking shoot you. But, how many of them have quick draw? They don't need it. Their arms are guns. No. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so we keep losing our sidearms, so they made them into our side's arms. Okay, let's see. They mostly have las guns and stubbers. What are we looking at? Let me see what I can use a normal fate point on while I'm at it, because I think I'm going to need it. Well, they're going to send me out of the shit out of you, so let's see how this goes. I have a hit. Would you like to try and dodge it? One second. Okay. I'm going to drop prone as a free action. Okay, no. Not, not I, on unless their Unless the character is engaged in the grapple, he can drop prone as a free action. Yes, and a free action can be taken on your turn. It's not your turn, suck a dong. Yeah, it's not a reaction. I fucking... Suck a dong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally would have done that. Dong suckage. <laughs> <sighs> uh, use, use, a, use, 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 a, use a fate to act out of work. No, 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 no. Do you want to try Just... and dodge the hit that's been made? Burn a fate point to suck a dong. I mean, I guess I might as well try to dodge. Uh, I don't think that's good enough. I think that's... Okay. Yeah, that's not. That's off by one, really. Okay, so the first two strike at the cover and do jack shit. However, the third shot from that particular guy's uh, automatic stubber hits you in the body for 18 with pen zero. How many wounds get through? And you don't have any cover on your body because, like I said, you're standing to do that. Yeah, well, that's going to be like a good nine wounds. Hurts, don't don't it? Don't forget your toughness bonus. Oh, right, toughness, toughness. So five... Five wounds, then. And we continue the shooting. All right, uh, any of that get through? Huh. So. With toughness bonus, no. Yeah, you just take it. Ting, 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 younger fuck. So, no crud. Ting 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 ting. Armor good. (laughs) 
This one might actually do something. Hold on. This one just happens to have a rocket launcher that... The other one... They are just, like, leg ones have cover, so they are just bouncing off your armor all over the place. Yeah, and they have to get above a 12 to do anything to anywhere except my body, which they need a thir above a 13. And the rest of the shots have missed. So, um, you weather the equivalent of a 15-man platoon of last shots and stubber shots. The last, uh, that last, the one that last one that hit you with those three, that was a las. Um, pile into your cover and into you, and you just don't give a fuck. You it, really don't it, care. <laughs> it effectively just polishes your armor for you. Bullet zing off your armor, last so, pistol, sorry, question. last guns like sizzle on the front of it. Which just... one's the jackass with the one D twenties? Eh. Those well, first three shots. With... Yeah. Oh, one D twenties instead of one D tens. Uh, I derped on that. <laughs> yeah. So I'll be wrong, we, let's, hold on. Yeah, let's go check that one out again. <laughs> Okay, so they did nothing. Jack shit. <laughs> I was about to make him my target priority, but if he doesn't actually have a good gun, then yeah. No, they all have heavy, they have auto stubbers and las guns. You do not care. Remember when I said they're equivalent to flashlights? I wasn't kidding. <laughs> flashlights. Jack shit has been accomplished. Well, Scath, your turn. The hit for 18 got me worried. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't have guns at their good gun has just been disabled. <laughs> Wait, what are the other ten doing? Marching towards where you think Carnivore and Sketh are. Carnivore's not here. Sigismund. Sig, sorry. We're the same. Yeah. Oh, the guy no. who's unconscious on the floor, bleeding out, they're gonna go for him, apparently. They're not they're not turning to shoot, they're just marching forward. Hmm. Yeah, Sketh. laying somewhere bleeding out that they're they're definitely replaceable. Um <laughs> uh, I lean out and send another stream of semi auto at the uh, uh at the at the front of this formation again. And hopefully this time I can actually manage a decent roll. Hey look, that's not a decent roll. Jeez. That's so bad that I'm gonna spend one of my two remaining fate on re-rolling that. Okay. That's better. Slight You've hit a success. lot. <laughs> Fuck that dice. Alright. Um, that is all of the successes. So, three hits total. From my pistol, which is a hit location, I guess that's a zero two, so so flip it becomes a twenty, and that's where you hit yep, where am I hitting three hits. Sorry, one second. 
How many hits? Three hits. Head, head, arm. In this case, right arm. Head, head, arm. All right, let me check something. Very bad damage rolls. <laughs> I mean, two of them are exactly average, but very bad damage rolls. Uh, you lay into him, but they're servitors, and even with most of his torso shot to shit, he's just marching on. After that, I, I'm aware that it's a that it's a battle of attrition. Mm, the attrition. Desdemona. Okay. Real quick, for anyone watching at home, and anyone who has any idea what servitors are or can do and when they're battle form, this is relatively light. There's a lot of them, but uh, any single one of them, at my discretion, can be armed by himself with a heavy bolter. So I could have had ten of them with heavy bolters if I wanted. So shut the fuck up. So someone is apparently too cheap to buy a good armament for their people. It seemed overkill. Perhaps they spent it all on the two huge armored brutes. I'm sure anybody who would normally watch stop the second I stepped out of the combat. <laughs> I know that this 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 fight just isn't the same without your raw sex appeal. Well, I'm gonna be going. I do wear again. a suit. Gonna be moving again. Roll your fucking thing. Well, I biff on that one again, too. Holy shit, again. Take another wound. You you mimic your first landing. Hey, guess what? You're out of fuel. You've gone over, let's see, 200. Haven't replaced it ever. Um, yeah, I'm fairly sure that they're fuel. Not is... completely, okay, double checking, you're not out of fuel. But you got one more of those jumps in you. So if you do another 100 or so meter jump, you're going to be out of fuel. 100 meters is a lot of distance, you know. <laughs> Yes, still, that was your whole turn, wasn't it? Yep, of course. It doesn't have fuel, but... Pretty sure they do. This one just has to cool. It can overheat. All right, it's overheated to shit, then. Yeah, um, because it can go for a minute of flight, then it has to cool down, and then it can go again. Mm. We are overheating the balls out of it. All right, um, these ones actually don't bother shooting. Well, those ones are... The ones at the front just seem to keep marching forward. They don't seem to care. That lot move in formation upwards. And the rest of them start fixing the heavy bolter. Oh, That's how long it's going to take. Yeah, that... that... Uh, that's their whole turn. Uh, Skith. Third round, same as the first two. I, I I don't have anything more useful to do until Desdemona has any specific instructions for me, and I definitely cannot run for it. Mm -hmm. So, crap. Wow, <laughs> God, bloody. It's a good thing your weapon can't jam. Our next characters are Shadow Psychers. <laughs> um... Like fighting super battle droids, you just pour a fire in them and just keep marching. The good news is I'm going to have a ship soon. <laughs> All right, I, I I still do still have one more fate, but I'm going to save it until these guys are a little closer. So yeah, that that's just a a, 
a non-starter there. I, I say if going. we die here, we just have the ultimate Xeno Heresy group that we get next. I'll, I'll go for the Dark Eldar. Someone get an orc. <laughs> Extra Heresy edition. Right, I'd be okay with that. Desdemona, your move. Well, she's going to pop up from cover and start blasting at these servitors. Choose one, or choose many. Depends on how you do it. Um, She's going to split her fire. Fair she enough. She has a talent for this, so... Basically, she'll be uh, each gun will be targeting the front person in each row. Okay. Um, so rolling for each. Uh, first roll is the top row, basically. Fair enough. Both hit. All right, and that's going to be three de degrees of success on the first one, and the other one has far more than that. And so, three is your max, three is your extra set yes, shots anyway. Yes, I got my so. max shots, basically. Mm -hmm. yep. Start rolling ones. All right, uh, let's go for top row first. Four shots. Uh, what pen is this? You're still using crack rounds? Yep. I'll get you the pen in just a second. No, um, I have to remember one less damage. Yeah, that's, sorry. Yeah, one less damage on that and four extra pens, so... I should just put the pen in the... Wool. I don't know why I don't have that in there, actually. I don't know. So yeah, it's a pen of nine total. You kill three of them. Do you open fucking death into them, and three manage to crumple into pieces small enough to where they can't keep marching? Right. Um, that's the, the other that was only shots? the top row. Oh, uh, it's just the top row? I don't know. Yep. Second row, I get the, I'm get. i going to do my shots next. There you go. Okay. And then pen 9 total, minus 1 damage. There you go. Kill a total of six. Turn back six script points. No way. I have one more salvo before I have to reload. Okay. Their turn. Fixing march. Oh, it is times like this. I wish I had some way to... To conceal my rifle. Hey, that's they're finally close enough. Grenade. Of course. Desdemona, dodge. Does this dodge or an agility test for the? It's a grenade, so it's an agility test. Okay. Uh, versus forty. You dodge. And unfortunately, in order to dodge, do you want to move? About there, or about there. Let's go backwards. However many I need to get out of its radius. There you go. Uh, the other one again. Dodge. Roll agility. Uh, you make it that time. That will not make it. Uh, I'll eat the hit. All right. Let me double check something. Actually, first question before I make that full decision. What the explosion look like from the first grenade? They're happening at roughly the same time, so I can't oh, tell you, unfortunately. Okay. All right, all right. Sorry, now I just need to look up this exact grenade, because I didn't... Where the hell is grenade? Hey, there. Okay, there it is. Da -da 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 -da. All right, yeah, plasma. Oh, fun. What's the pen on that thing? Uh, six. 
Okay. It rolled decent. I assume I take um, what do you take it to body or for a grenade hit? Yeah, uh, body. Yeah, I believe so. It just makes sense for it to hit. It hits everywhere, so body though. Okay. So let's see. I still have three armor off of that. Twelve, four, seven. So five wounds. Still holding up. Yep, I'm at seven. Okay, I try the color. These two can shoot at you. You said they were in range before, so were they in range after I moved back still? Oh, no, 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 they have two weaponries. They have, uh, what do you see? I meant for the grenade. Oh, the grenade? Yeah, no, they had range for that. Okay. Well, that's what they were going to do, is they're going to throw one to make you dodge and throw the other one on top of you just to Makes see if sense. that would. Okay. So, yeah, you rolled into my grenade, you dick. <laughs> All right. Well, that's rough. That one's going to hit. I still haven't used that actual dodge. I'm aware. Do you want to try and dodge this one, then? Yeah, if it's going to hit. Mm, well, they're going to then. Nope. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure this one out. Ah, right, they have those. Okay. This one has a hell pistol. Oh. Rude. They have grenades and hell pistols. That's that's very rude of them. All of them did, but you killed six of them, so be happy you killed six <gasps> Where's of them. Where's that hit? Uh, I think it's just body, but one second. Uh, yeah, uh, right leg, actually. Ah, oh, damn. All right. Lol. Combat dodge. All right, so that many wounds against That's, your... Yeah, so I'm sorry, mathing. Um, for toughness. How many critical? I don't know if I get pushed all the way over, but I'm getting close now. Well, you've already taken five, and another five from earlier. No, that five No, the other five was rewound, because it was oh, not so you've taken right five guy. plus this amount, so... Yeah, so, like, I'm at seven right now. Let's see, that's eight armor, so I have one armor left from that, four toughness, five. So I take four more. This puts me at my wound threshold. So you got one or zero? This will put zero. me at 11 of 11, and so I haven't taken crit yet. No, you just said zero of zero. Okay. Yeah. You're lucky the other guy didn't hit. And uh, da, 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 da. that's all, so skiff. I think you hit uh, something. Yep, yeah, although I only got... I only got two degrees of success, so I only get one additional hit. So, two hits at hit location 1-3, wherever that is. Go ahead and roll. Yeah, yeah, rolling it. Keep forgetting whether it's d10 plus 2 or plus 4. It's plus 2. Pen. 4. Uh, bang and bang. Alright, hold on. You pour fire into one of them. Still standing. They have a lot right of armor. Up. A lot of armor and a lot of wounds. And a lot of toughness. These are walking like tanks compared to you. Mm -hmm. Notice how they've moved like at a double move, like five each round. So speed. Ah, so same not. as me. 
Yeah, speedy they are not, tough they are. Right, that so means that if, you, if you run, Scaff, you could actually get away. <laughs> well, he'd be shot the whole time he's running. Finger quotes. Yes. Yeah, but you do get extra ballistic skill defense. Destimona, your turn. Maybe being that club, maybe these guys actually have okay weapons. At least these ones. Yeah. They'll probably hand finish hand. off these four, though. Yeah. Or me and move and not. Oh. I think cover is very important. Yeah, considering I'm about to go down otherwise. No, what? No. No, screw it. For the Emperor! Uh, always, yeah. You know you can always miss, right? <laughs> yeah. Alright, just throw that out there. Same as before. Um, top row and second row. Very far I, get. The, the statistics of me missing are a pretty low chance. Yeah, but it can still happen is the problem. Alright, top row. That's more like it. Dead. Bottom row. 20, 27, 19. Dead. <laughs> you okay, finish off man. the last standing ones just pouring fire into them. However, as you fire off the last couple of shots, your guns both click gently to indicate, well, yep. shit, you're out of ammo. <laughs> I can reload them quickly, but still two guns. Yep. yep. You cry out, out of ammo! To Sketh, who's covered and just like around a corner, gun in hand. Well, it's more of a pang, 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 pang. Yeah, they're just gonna keep moving for actually move them back. And uh, well, Desdemona's out of cover. I have no reason not to. I mean, last time her armor soaked it all, but if they can just get one in there. She's down. They don't. They can tell because, oh, you look beat to shit. So, they're gonna try. So a half move and then single shot each. More or less, yes. Anyway, either after them or after me, we should probably end session. Anything? They have to roll max damage. It's not like they know that. To do I know, one but <laughs> I'm just telling you, they, that's, yeah. they have to not roll like max. Not like the Servitor is stupid. Anyway, yeah. however, I've got bad news. <laughs> They've got the bolter working again. Well, they still got to turn it around. Yep, you still got a turn for them to turn it around. Um, Skith, your move. And after that, we'll stop for the things that'll be top. All right. Um... I said, no, I expect you to sit here and fight, and nor did I expect you oh, to start winning slowly. Oh, I do slowly. this then? What's up? I'm going to instantly recover four wounds with a fate point. Fair enough. You recover four wounds with a fate point. Yay for you. Oh yeah, that's a thing you can do. Yep, but just by spending, not burning. Yes. All right. I'm going to get one of you to burn every last fate point you had. So uh... actually, I've got one left. But yeah. no, no, no. I'm talking um... about burning. I managed to get someone to burn themselves down to zero and slowly go insane. So so far, you know, I actually only suffer a minus ten for it. So um. I'm going to try and shoot that tripod out. Fair enough. Uh, with a semi-auto so that I can cancel out that that uh, that, that 10. Mm -hmm. uh, You're taking penalties associated with this due to the distance and position. Yes. Not an easy shot. Yes, penalties which I am aware of. Okay. No. And... 
and this is why I'm doing it as last thing of uh, in the uh, in in this uh, bout, uh, spending that last fate. Come on, like a pistol. All right, let's see. Uh, you are doing this against your uh, BS of what? This is my basic ballistic skill is fifty. Okay. The penalties I'm aware of. Oh, being, by one. Fuck you. All right. Being range. <laughs> uh, being range is so. Uh, how many degrees of success? None. You got. A, you were literally one away from failure. So. Yep. Thirty. Okay. Yeah, the, the, you had an increased DC difficulty of 20 beyond your normal due to the uh, difficult shot being made with all the shit in the way of the servitors, you know, all over this thing. But you made it and blasted the thing out from under itself again. Right. Um, question. Hit Answer location. Question. If that's a leg, do I blow out the base? Um, I'll roll, let's see, I'll roll damage for me then. Damage. 13 pen 4, but sorry, I'm dead. Okay, I'll take note of what its, I guess, what its armor value is. Uh, from here, you can't tell whether or not it can still be fixed with that same leg, but I'm, I'll keep track of that. Mm-hmm. She already does that. damage to it. Okay, it did disable it again. I just no, no, it's, it's re-disabled. You can be sure any shot hitting it will disable it. it. Like, it'll flop over. It's just a matter of... Can it be repaired? Yeah, so I'm keeping okay. track of that. All righty. So this session was a whole shit ton of combat I didn't expect. They didn't expect the uh, all too You gave run, us but, no right. way to escape. It is a long, narrow corridor with a Gatling gun at our back. <laughs> I always expected you to just run down the side thing, see this shut wall, and blow your way through the wall. Well, the that cities, was my plan until someone cities, got unconscious. Yeah, there was that. The, that, cities, that I the city's walls have you also proven should. to be impermeable. Like seriously, should have just left him and run. That office is still on the table. Like, I, there's nothing that's happened yet that means we can't do that. Still, we at least we at least need to rummage your body for the keys to the starship. Lol, the key is in his brain. Yes, actually, I know. to be that's, completely honest, that's, you need it's, to... it's going to be a very severe rummaging. <laughs> you would actually need to take your head, his head with you because that contains the data you need to get out his writ of trade. So, good news, that, Captain. We saved you. Bad news is, you're now a servitor skull. Heh. <laughs> good job so far on everyone for uh, not being instantly mullered to death by the heavy bolter. Came close a couple times. One of you actually had, did end up getting mullered, but that was just because they rolled Max's fucking initiative. Alrighty. All right, I guess I'll see you a lot next week for the uh, Pathfinder. Stick yep. here for a second. Pardon me? I just need to go ahead to stick here for a second. Yeah, all righty. Uh, just give me a second to end the stream, and we will see you all later. Night. Bye, Z. Bye. Where am I here? Uh,